Hey guys, um, I've I spent like the last hour, hour and a half, two hours on this. <laughs> yeah, Planet vs Zombies too. Um, I made it out of a coke box, some green straws, and a lot of freaking tape. Anyways, let me just give you kind of like a rundown of this. Um, if you can figure this out yourself, which, I mean, hmm, just doesn't look that complicated. I mean, when, when I have a plant in it. So basically, there's little holes that the plants go in with their, like, straws. And you, like, put these in the holes, kind of. And then you can kind of plant that wherever you want. Let's take them all out, even though I hate doing this, but, you know, for the video. I'll just pause real quick. If you're wondering why I didn't, uh, okay, so this guy, um, I got the plants right here. Pause back since I have to redo this. This guy is the only one with a moving neck, because the rest I just decided to tape the cutouts to, like, the movable part of the straw. These are bendy straws, by the way. I use the green ones because they're plants, but that's, that's unnecessary. I really hope that did not show my face. Are, they gonna, is, are the comments going to turn off now? I hope the comments don't turn off now. Anyways, if you're wondering why I did this guy and not a regular pea shooter, it's because this guy was my original idea and I figured a million people have already made a pea shooter. Um, might as well do something a little bit different. And then I figured, forget it, this. Also, tip if you're trying to make this with what I'm about to say. When you tape the grass tiles onto the top, make the holes after you tape it. I cannot describe how painful it was to have to put in the holes, and then everything's all wiggly, and it sucks. So please, just tape this on, and then do the holes. Don't, don't be an idiot like me and not plan ahead. Actually, you don't even have to plan ahead, because I already said it. So, yeah. So now, you can, um... You can be, you can be not like anybody who plays this game on the face of the earth and put the sunflowers in front if you want. You could put the snapdragon in the back where by the time the zombies get to it, it's already too late. There are no zombies, but if you can't, if you want, you can do that. Put them on straws too and like stick them in the holes. I already finished this. Alex wanted me to do zombies, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that now. So yeah, let's just all put these in random places. So basically, here's all the guys I did. You can do whoever you want. By the way, if you're wondering how I did the moving neck on this guy. Um, basically, you gotta put, like, the bottom part of it on the, um, the longer part of the straw. And then the shorter end with the little bendy part in the middle. That's where you put the head. And then you can make it so that the head moves and the body stays there. By the way, Alex also wanted me to do this, um, three-headed chomper. Um, I'll put, uh, this is fan-made, so the person who made that, I'll put their, um, username on what they use in the description. I'm pretty sure that whole, the whole username and everything is in the title of the image, so. I'll have to edit that later, probably the day after I'm making this video. This is already three and a half minutes, and I've only got twelve and a half, because I'm low on storage, so. Yeah, let's go. Tall nut. Um, looking back, I should have done infinite, but you don't have to stop at these. Um, eight. Yeah, I put I put two rows, four holes on each. I put like you know the box that they usually put like soda cans and stuff in. Yeah, that I used a Coca Cola one we had left over. If you have the little opening part taken off, then Cut little things here and here. Fold it in. Fold this. Cut this. Actually, no. Wait. Cut this and fold this down. And then tape it together. And your logo can go here. And it looks all nice and like arcade-y. Is that a word? That's not a word. And then we can put the cherry bombs in the back where... Actually, cherry bombs explode right when you place them. I can't I can't make a joke on whether or not that's dumb or smart. If they did explode when something was near them, though, this would be a good strategy. Kind of like what you do with potato mines. But I'm not here to give tips on the game. I'm here to give tips on how to build this. So, basically, uh, you got your box, right? 
print out some grass. Um, it should be on the PVZ wiki. Uh, not even the wiki. Just, just freaking Google it. Something should come up. I don't have image blinks here or anything. I was gonna do a regular chomper, and I I didn't even think of doing that in the first place because Alex recommended it. My brother, by the way. I I haven't said that the whole video. And I was kind of hesitating on it because I already had the snappy. And then I saw the three-headed one and wanted that. So, yeah, that's why there's a three-headed one. Again, link in the description. Eh? Why did I say it like that? Oh, both, of the, both of the walnuts are actually, actually ended up in the same row with all, like, the, all, like, the shuffling and everything. So, basically, how I made most of the plants was I taped the plant to the smaller, kind of, like, bendy, movable... Half of the straw, and then you got. I recommend you poke in these holes with scissors. Um, if you have anything better to do it with, please. I mean, I'm not saying like you have to, but you you can use that too. I'm no professional at this. This took me two hours, and one of you out there might finish this in five minutes. And but that's without the, some of the dumb mistakes I made. And by dumb mistakes, I mean the freaking grass. <laughs> I was going to put something around here. Maybe some art. Maybe some whatever. I hope there wasn't anything important on that box. But, no. I didn't. I got lazy. It already took me at least an hour. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, I spent like four minutes talk talking about how bad this was to make. I really am an idiot. Anyways... Um, I'm using Plants vs. Zombies 2 pictures. You could use whatever you want. You don't even need to limit this to Plants vs. Zombies. You could put whatever you want on this, but this is my Plants vs. Zombies version. Um, so yeah. For the zombies, I haven't made those yet, so no tips on those. Just print out the zombie, cut it out, tape it to the straw. There you go. If you're asking about what sizes to use, I recommend you have your straw, you have a straw and a printer paper, and like an extra printer paper. Same, same type of paper that you're going to be using to print these out for reference. So then that way you'll know how big it's going to be because if you end up with something too big, you're going to end up messing this up. And wasting time. Or ink. But I didn't have any trouble with ink on this. I'm going to delete this right after I upload. This is going to be a big video. So basically how you play it is. You move around the plants. You don't really play it. It just kind of looks good. Also I had the plants kind of like. Facing this way at first. And then I figured it would look nicer if I flipped them this way. But yeah. Put them facing whichever way you want. It does not, does not really matter. So, um, yeah. Maybe put, this is an actual layout in the game if you want to. Or maybe just put whatever, whichever plants are your favorites. I remember I said you could move them around. Well, you can make extras. I never had a place to store the extras. I mean, there's this little hole if you want to, like, stick it in there. Yeah, there was a hole there, but like I said, grass. Anyways, <coughs> um, you could make extras, take out one plant, and then put in the um, the other. I'm just going to take the closest thing out of the plants versus zombies. And then plant in your new one. Yay. Honestly, this got pretty annoying. Annoying to make, but like, you know, it was worth it to get to show everyone and especially make this video because I've seen people do these kind of crafts on videos and I was bored. And looking back, I probably shouldn't have spent this much time on this. I probably should have taken a break and continued tomorrow. You can make more holes if you want. <laughs> 
if you need to know how to do anything else, if the comments are turned on, you can go into the comments and tell me what I messed up on in this not-so-tutorial. That is um, a tutorial. I'm kind of going to put tutorial in the title. I'm just going to put tutorial in the title. Forget it at this point. I don't think there's anything else you'll need to, like, tape or anything. Um, I do remember there being, like, a little hole kind of looking thing. But that, and um, again, grass for, like, the 50th time. If you end up with any other rips, just, I don't know, throw some, throw some tape over that. I don't know. So, yeah, this is what I spent, like, the last hour or so doing. I'm probably going to make zombies after this video. Actually, no, I'll probably just be browsing through YouTube. Who am I kidding? Yeah. Also, some of these renders ended up getting cut off. Like, you can clearly see this guy's missing his head, right? We just scribble on the same color as he is. <coughs> Looking back, maybe I should have done Infinite instead of Tall Nut. Here's all the plants I did. We got Twin Sunflower, Snap Pea, with moving head action. Oh, great, it fell over. Moving head action. Okay, the, the video's almost over. I only have a minute left. I gotta do this fast. Tall Nut. Sunflower. Snapdragon, whose nose and neck got slightly cut off. Um... Comment a dragon emoji if you can see it, and also if you made it this far. Yeah, yeet. Anyways. So, yeah, here's Cherry Bomb. Um, Three-headed uh, Chomper. And Walnut, who was basically being blocked and kind of moved around the internet. I have 30 seconds left, so what you're going to need is scissors, a printer, paper, a cardboard box, probably, and... Tape. A lot of tape. You might be able to substitute some of this stuff for glue. By the way, here's the back of one of these again if you want me to show you. So yeah, bye. I'm about to completely run out of space for this. Yeah, I'll just use the last 10 seconds. Forget it. Um, I don't want to show a messy. Yeah, bye.